Hello, everyone. Welcome to see the radio training video. Today, our topic is about the network overview. Actually, in our life and work, everyone uses the network. For example, now maybe you use your phone, your laptop to see the training video from the YouTube, right? I have a question for you: Who help you to follow the traffic from the YouTube to your device? The answer is network. So about this part, we will talk something topics about the what is network, why we need the network, and what's the advantage if we have a network, and if we build a network, how to define the quality is good or not, and we have so many organizations to help us to build the network. Who are them? So, if you are interesting about this topic, please follow me. Together, we can discuss. Hello, everyone. The first video is network overview. As we know, the computer network has been widely used and has changed the way of our work and life. For example, now maybe in your home, in your company, and you use your phone or your laptop to log in the YouTube. And when you search the radio video, then you can get so many technology information. So who help you to follow the traffic from the YouTube to your device? The answer is network. For the beginner, it's very necessary to establish a preliminary and outline understanding of computer networks. For example, what is network? So here is a definition of the network. A computer network is a collection of interconnected sets of autonomous computer. So here are two key points. The first one is autonomous computer. What mean? For example, maybe in your home, now you use some software to record your song, and then you can update it to some apps. For example, like the YouTube. And maybe some user use a software and、uh, like the PHP to build a game. And of course, in the company, maybe we deploy the web server and provide the web page, and then someone can see the company information. So all these devices we call is autonomous computer. That means they can deal with the packets by the device itself. So now, if we want to get the information of the company, so how to get download this page from the server? The answer is network. So we can deploy the network to become internet, and then we can direct it to search the information of the company. Or maybe you can listen a beautiful song from some singer. So this is a function of the network. Network help us to connect all the autonomous computer together, and then we can enjoy so many resources like the picture. Someone travel around and share with us a picture, and also some video, some music, song, something like this. So here are three characteristic of the network. The first one is the resources sharing, right? So now maybe only to upload the song or upload the video, then all the others can see the information, and then we can start the computer or the study the technology together. So this is the first characteristic. The second one, if we have the network, also can provide the distributed processing. What's mean? For example, now everyone opens the Google website, and we can see the same page. That's because we deploy multiple server to provide the web page for you, and the devices will choose the computer closest with you and provide the service for you. So this is a distributed processing, and all the devices also can provide the load balance. That means. If we deploy multiple server in the network, we can decrease the scenario like 
One server is very busy. That's as a result, they cannot work. And we can deploy different servers and in different server. And finally, all the server can work and not overload. So this is a load balance. And the third one, if we have the network, we also can provide the comprehensive information service. We can see the movie, we can listen to the music, and we can see some beautiful picture on the network now. So this is uh, the characteristic of the network. And in the network, we will discuss so many technologies. Maybe at the beginning, you already see the video, we will talk about like STP, OSPF, NET, something like this. All the technology we discuss will be based on the topology. So what is the topology? Actually, the network means we will deploy the connection. So we will use so many devices like the router, like the switch, and use a cable to connect with together. And topology means we will use a point to indicate the device. And then we will use a line to indicate the cable. So we have different type of the topology. The first one is a very easy one, the bus type. Bus type is uh, located on the beginning. All the devices directed to connect with each other like a bus. And the deployment is the simplest one. And uh, the disadvantage is if one device or one link is broken, the network is broken. So later we will make the topology stronger to use the star type. All the devices will connect with the middle one. In this topology, if around the device, like the four point is broken, the other devices still can work with each other. But there is a problem of single failure. The middle one is broken, the network is broken. And the third type is the tree type. When we talk about the technology of the STP, we will make the topology to become the tree type. Between two Devices, there are only one path. So this topology we call is tree type. And the next one is full mesh. Full mesh means between two devices, we will use one cable. So this topology is the most strongest. So if one link or one device is broken, the other device still can work. But the disadvantage is very expensive. So if we have some devices have to communicate with each other all the time, or maybe there are so many data have to be transferred on the link. We will use the last type, partial mesh. Some important device, we will use a cable to connect with each other, but the other device, we will let the, the third device to help us to follow the traffic. So here are the topology we usually will see in our network. And now if we deploy a network, we also need some metrics to indicate the quality is good or not. And we will explain two main metrics. The first one is the bandwidth. About the bandwidth means describe the amount of data that can be transferred from one node to another within a certain time. So we usually will use the BPS to indicate the bandwidth. About the bandwidth, we hope the value is higher is better. Of course, it will be more expensive. For example, maybe we will talk about the Ethernet bandwidth usually is 10 Mbps, and about the faster Ethernet is 100. But maybe in your data center, the bandwidth is higher. We usually use 10 GB, 100 GB, or maybe even 400 GB. In different scenarios, we will use different bandwidth. And the second one is the delay. Delay means the time it takes for the data from one node to another node on the network. We hope about the delay, the value is smaller is better. So there are two main metrics. And in the network, we have so many protocols. Protocol means uh, a rule that indicates what's the first step, what's the second step, and in this step, which parameters we have to add in the package. So this rule we call is protocol. 
and we have many organizations to help us to establish this protocol. And here are some typical organizations. The first one is the ISO, and the second one is IEEE. These two organizations are very important for us because later about the video, we will talk about uh, two reference models to help us to learn the network. One is ISO and another one is TCP IP. These two reference models are used uh, by these two organizations. And of course, there are other organizations like NSI and ITU and IAB. If you are interested to get more information, maybe you can search online by yourself. About this video, last, I will give you one question. Which of the following statements about start project is incorrect? Option A, start project is easy to maintain. Option B, in a start project, the failure of one link does not affect the normal communication of hosts on other links. Option C, the start project has higher reliability and there is no single point of failure problem. I hope after you see, after you finish seeing the video, you can get the correct answer. Thank you. Congratulations. Now I think you are finished to see the video. And uh, let's have a brief summary about this part. Now I think you already know what is network, right? If we have the network, there is a collection of uh, so many autonomous computers. So we can share the resources together and uh, we can enjoy so many rich resources like the video, like music, like words, and so on. And uh, if we build the network, we have two metrics to define the quality. One is the bandwidth and another one is the delay. About the bandwidth, we hope higher is better. But about the delay, we hope lower is better. And the two main organizations we have to know is ISO and IEEE. Because about the next video, we will explain something about the reference mode. This mode are distributed by these two organizations. That's all. Thank you.